Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, we are going to create an email subscription pop-up. So let's not waste time and dive right in! So first, you need to download the plugin. I'm going to use plugin WordPress plugin called Pop-up Box. So go to Plugins, search Pop-up Box and uh, here is our plugin, click on install, then activate and you will see its icon on your dashboard. So to start creating, you need to click on pop-up box from the dashboard, then you will see the following screen, uh, click on add new. So pop-up box offers several shortcuts and of course we're obviously going to choose uh, subscription, however you have a short code version, video, yes or no, uh, custom content frame and uh, contact form. Uh, so we're going to choose a subscription from these forms. Uh, click on select and you will see its general settings. In the general settings, make sure that the enable pop-up uh, functionality is ticked and working after you have to give a name to your pop-up. I cannot really suggest anything because it all depends on um, the way that you want to represent uh, your pop-up or subscription form. Uh, after that, you have to choose uh, the pages that your pop-up is going to be shown. Uh, it can be on all pages of your website. Uh, it, you can in the accept button you can select uh, posts or pages that you do not want to show your pop-up on and also uh, on the selected uh, button you can uh, select several pages that you want to show it displayed uh, after comes uh, the email field placeholder which is uh, important however if it's an email subscription pop-up we are not going to do anything differently here we already have uh, written on default uh, email and you also have a name field you can untick this uh, button functionality and not display any name field uh, but if you decide to do so you can give a name to that placeholder and you can also make it required uh, after you um, can write pop-up description of course it is not um, necessity it's optional um, and the most important part is our pop-up trigger so the pop-up trigger is a way that your pop-up is going to be shown whether it is uh, on click on page load or you can choose both um, we are going to make a email subscription pop-up uh, on page load and um, if you are interested on on-click pop-ups you can check out our video uh, from our tutorials we also have a video on that and um, the CSS selector for trigger click is of course for the on-click type so we are going to skip this and after you have to choose your pop-up position uh, which is very important actually try to make your pop-up visible but not distracting so that your um, user has positive experience in your website the next section of our pop-up box is uh, the settings section in the settings section there are tons of functionalities that can uh, make your experience with pop-ups better and you can show head information if you want of course you need to tick those uh, buttons if you want so you can um, choose pop-up category um, actually if you are going to make uh, many pop-ups uh, it is better to cut categorize them so that you can find them easier and there are several options of closing your pop-up you can uh, close it by pressing ES, uh, ESC uh, you can close by cl uh, clicking outside the box uh, by scrolling down and by class name. So let's understand what is closing by uh, class name. So uh, you can uh, copy given class name and assign it to um, any tag 
in um, any content description, um, custom content or whatever. And after that, um, it will close the pop-up while clicking on that specific tag. Uh, however, when you can also choose not to uh, display any buttons or any ways of closing your pop-up, but choose wisely and think about your user first and their experience and always give them uh, options. Uh, the, next, um, the next functionality is a close button position. You can uh, even decide where you want to put your close button. These are details that actually matter and can change um, how your pop-ups perform in general. You can also uh, choose auto close delay. So if for any reason you decide not to put any close buttons to your pop-up, you can um, use this functionality and close your pop-up automatically uh, by setting um, timer and you can also hide the timer that your pop-up is going to be closed like after 20 seconds maybe and you can also use open delay um, pay attention to this because uh, there is this 15 second rule anyone entering your website checks it out and you only have 15 seconds to uh, catch their attention to get their attention so uh, do not um, use this functionality and open your pop-up after like a minute or two minutes because um, the possibility that your pop-up will not be seen or recognized by anyone is higher and uh, you can also choose how many times you want to show your pop-up per session uh, and if you want to um, show your pop-up once a day, you have to um, click, you have to write down a score 1440. And you can also enable pop-up sound, uh, which is a nice feature. You can schedule your pop-ups um, so that you will not be spending time on um, displaying them every day. And that's it about our settings section. The next section is our pop-ups style section. So for subscription pop-up, you have to make it um, really appealing and you have to brand it so that it doesn't look alien on your website. And pop-up box offers pre-made themes which can uh, help you and guide you. You can make such detailed customization as button sizes and colors and text fonts and text colors. Uh, also, you can make mobile friendly pop-ups, which is the most important part and um, you can choose background colors uh, and you can even uh, choose your close button. You can insert any other close button that you want in the style section. However, if you are not satisfied or if those functionalities are not enough and you have uh, some other uh, designs in your mind, you can use custom CSS. And the last section of our pop-up is limitation users. There is not much to say about this. The names speaks for itself. In the limitation users section, you can uh, limit on uh, who you uh, show the pop-up. For example, you can enable it for guests and you can enable, enable it for a certain user roles and um, you can display or limit it by country, by certain browsers and uh, there are other functionalities that you can check out for yourself. So here is the pop-up that I have created with uh, WordPress plugin pop-up box. I think it's very appealing and it matches my website uh, and um, it's very eye-catching. Now I would like to speak about do's and don'ts on making pop-ups. Here is um, the three things that you should not do while making a pop-up. So our first don't is not to make a pop-up without specific reason or offer. 
So as you can see from my t today's pop-up, I offered people to a 20% discount from our products um, if they write down their email for further contact and this is a great way to make email lists and dive people in and if it's not like discount or something, always bring up a solid offer or reasoning to why people um, should share their uh, personal information such as email. So the second do not is showing everything you have to offer at once. So everything should be balanced and balance is a good thing in life and in pop-ups as well. Do not show hundreds of pop-ups on your website, even if it's like discounts or something because people get irritated with content that distracts their um, experience in your website. And the third do not is showing irrelevant content. We all must agree that pop-ups are by their nature already a little annoying and showing people pop-ups that they do not really care about is frustrating. So uh, you can use pop-up boxes feature, for example, um, enabling pop-ups only for guests if you are creating an email subscription form because the person who is already subscribed in your website doesn't need to see that pop-up or be distracted by it. Now let's see what are the three do's when it comes to pop-ups. So, the... so the first thing is to make it easy to close the pop-up, to not forget about your manners and uh, show displaying close button or auto close after several seconds is um, good manners and respect combined. If you can afford give your first-time users some discount or something that can appeal people to share their information. Again, I talked about this earlier in the tutorial. This is it for our today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and get some knowledge because it's the most important part. And if the video was helpful, leave a like, make your suggestions and comments in the comment section and also do not forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell for upcoming tutorials. Bye!